to register for that testimony this is the time for you to appreciate god in a very special way i want us to be on our feet when david danced as you read in the scripture the drums were on the timbre were on tambourine they were playing for him eh? i want us to dance today specially before the drums comes on in a very special dancing steps without your hands being clapped without the timbre without the drums in any way you can show god that you appreciate him this morning dance without any music without any instrument do it the heavens are drumming for you behold the angels are clapping for you the 24 elders that are busy worshiping this god this way are doing same for you if you're doing for god do it for god happily hallelujah 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 put your hands together for jesus start warming up for the evening this is just a warming up for the evening uh-huh Awesome God, awesome God, mighty God, mighty God. Awesome God, awesome God, mighty God, mighty God. We give you praise, give you praise. Awesome God, awesome God. We give you praise, give you praise. Mighty God. your hands together for Jesus. Our sister is here to thank God for what God has done in her life and her son's life. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, Mama, you're welcome to Fountain of Hope Ministry Incorporated, aka the Spring for the Testy. Tell us your name, where you come from, and that wonderful testimony. My name is Elizabeth Etu. I am from Etina. <laughs> In Accra Ibom State, Nigeria, Africa. I want to use my language. I can't say, I can't say, I can't say. Praise the Lord. Me call my bassy number one. I was here, my Janice, so I get an oil name, get 22 of March. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? My uncle, my bassy. 
In any time, I got to is why now. Go out the pen or yenem. Gaka or run young de. Make a one I can me. I tell me, Auntie, danger. I'm more danger again more. The long bomb machine. Ye, bow run get a pen. Yet, Auntie, there was also under the danger, then there was also. Say, Mingarago, eat dog. Land go for. Get a wolf up. I mean, David is going to be a good one. I mean, get 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 a good one. Il est mec à ma femme. Ah, il est tout doux. T'es un bon bon. Ah, bon bon. Mais vous, moi, il va être dans l'hiver à Kébor. Et il y a un frère, frère, ou ma. Il y a un frère, 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 and I was so rich. I was crying, crying, crying. I want to answer God. Can't forget no. You know me get time fun. Can't be no one can take care of me. You know me three. Me rock. You know me go. Me rock. I'm go bossy. Yeah, you can't me go. I'm you know me. Boy, I know I rock again. Can't hear him. You don't know I'm for again. But deep on, deep mommy. I say yes, mommy. How are you? I'm fine. What happened? You know, tell me everything that happened. Me in the pain. You say I'm crazy. You know fuck. You say I'm too. Cause me can't no more again. Him. Yeah, I try again. Then try run for him. I mean, Boba, see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, tell my son, bong. But I didn't know for you. I say, I didn't go for you. I get it. One night I give up. My young Russ and the camera. I mean, tell the two you come out or why you name me, get free, free. I am not an army. To the day more than you are around nine. Need bend up on the cinema yet and send me one to my day. Say, I'm a man. Eat a car, normal chemist. I must have given a car chemist, even go for you. Guy, ten or no. I don't have a chemist, a chemist man, see now. I come again. After three days, I know that I is that. Meaning, you know, I get to my young, 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 young. I mean, they get like young, it all you name me, would look up. I mean, move on the Abassi. Move on the Abassi. Please go straight to today's testimony. Amen. If I may be that time, I mean, both time. Three minutes because we have to disperse here by twelve. God bless you. So I mean, I'm going to have a simple. Now I'm going to say, "Nam, we're going to have my dinner." Then I'm going to say, "I'm going to have this one." Oh, you know, you know, we're going to have one. I mean, I'm going to have a simple. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, it's all right. Any of us get a young, can you have one, Jesus? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Yes, our mama is thanking God for God adding one more year to his son. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? <laughs> Secondly, she's thanking God for God saving her son life from hot water which poured on her son. And today, her son is here healthy and sound. And God also has added one more year to his life. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> mama, for all this that God has done for you, what is your promise, your duty, and your advice to us seated here? I will continue to serve God till the rest of my life. Amen. I'm now telling you people, if you are coming to the fountain, sit down one place. Relax and see the glory of God upon your life in Jesus' name. We thank God for your testimony. And we ask you to make the God's word a standard in your life as you continue to walk in the light of your testimony in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Our brother is here to thank God for what God has done in his life. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, brother, you're welcome to Fountain of Hope Ministry Incorporated, aka the Spring for the Testy. Tell us your name, where you come from, and that wonderful testimony. Hallelujah. My name is Idong Udo. I'm from Sretai Local Government Area, Kwaibom State. I'm here to thank God for what God has done in my life. I want to tell you, since I joined Fountain of Hope Ministry, I've never seen shame even one day. 
Put your hands together for Jesus. I have tested this God and see his power. I know who he is, who he is. What he says he will do, he will do that. Hallelujah. I want to thank God that this month that is just about to pass, God has blessed my family up to the point that I cannot just imagine it. God gave us a bouncy baby boy. Put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. Praise the Lord. Not by our making, but it is the grace of God. I told my wife, this pregnancy, that you are going to burn a baby boy. The son of a prophet is a prophet. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus. And she told me that she's looking for a baby girl. I closed that chapter. I want to briefly, when the labor started on Friday evening, I take it, I've never experienced us. I take it very light. Then on Sunday, on Saturday afternoon, as we returned from our brother's uh, burial, his father's burial, she called me and she like crying on phone. Immediately I, I got that call, I called mama. Mama, my wife is at labor. You know the word that mama gave to me? He says, it is well. Hallelujah. Amen. I was not shaken because she said it is well. I remember when you papa used to speak. He does not have a long protocol. He just speak one or two things. I stand on that. And before I know, that was on Saturday evening. On Sunday morning, God gave us a bouncy baby boy. Shall so, we put up together beautifully for my I am here God. to return all glory, all honor, all adoration unto God. For he deserve it in Jesus' name. Put your hands beautifully for the miracle working God. Yes, brother, we can see you smiling. And we can see you smiling, smiling, smiling. And we are thanking God for your testimony. What is that God has done for you? What is your promise of you and your advice to us seated here? Hallelujah. My promise of duty is I will continually serve this God. Then my advice is, sometime Papa teach us the topic, how do you know God? When you know you are God that you are serving, irrespective of whatever problem you are into, inside you, you will know that God is going to save you out of it. So I understand God up to that point that no matter what happened, even my brother Prince told me, you are the son of the prophet, don't worry. So how do you know you are God? When you know you are God, you don't have any problem. Thank you very much. So your hands together for Jesus. Brother, may you continue to walk in the light of your testimony as you make God's word a standard in your life. God bless you. Fountain! The spring for the thirsty indeed. Our sister is here to bless the name of the Lord for herself and that of her family. Put your hands together for Jesus. Sister, you're welcome to Fountain of Hope Ministries. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what God Almighty has done for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Queen Solomon James. I'm from Ibesikbo, Sultan, Kwaibom State. I'm here to give God the glory for saving my life. It was um, February on a Tuesday. I started feeling somehow and I was vomiting. I could not even know what happened. I was vomiting to the extent I was scared. I had to call mama. So when mama came, she saw the state of my health. She said, I can't leave you here. I'm taking you to the church. Because that Tuesday was fountain intercessors day. I followed mama. I was lying down there till the end of the prayer. So after then, we, I, I went for 
a test. The test was typhoid and but even the typhoid, it was an attack was added because during that period I was so sick. In the dream, a man came to strangle me dead. And I was so fast, I held the the man used the wrapper. So I held it. He could not strangle me. And I now woke up. In the morning, I was feeling pains all over that I could not even open my mouth to eat. So when mama called, I told mama that uh, I told mama the dream I had and the experience after I woke up. So mama said, okay. That was on a Saturday. Mama said, Sunday, try and come to church. And it was on the first Sunday of March. So when I came during the anointing service, when mama anointed me, she now used the anointing oil and rubbed all over my face. And to go be the glory, the pain stopped. It was not even up to 30 minutes. Put your hands together for Jesus. He's a miracle working God. And the result of the test showed I had a um, shortage of blood. I was like, ah. How old am I that I'm having shortage of blood? What am I using my blood for? But it was a trick of the devil. I could not stand. I could not, I, I mean, even for five minutes, I was so weak. But I thank God, after that prayer, on that first Sunday, I, I regained my strength. And after that, during one of the nights, the fountain intercessors were praying. A message came concerning my husband against accidents and everybody prayed when the message came the message came that even if the accident will happen that we should pray that my husband should be safe and I want to thank God that when that accident happened my husband's life was safe I appreciate God and after two weeks he had the accident just Thursday that passed, I had an accident. I was coming back from somewhere to the house, just close to my street. I don't just know what happened. I just I saw myself in the middle of the main road. The bike man that carried me didn't fall. The bike didn't fall. But I saw myself. I when I woke up, I asked the bike man, what happened? I so much time got that there was no car coming. Because if there was a car coming, I don't know where I could have been today. I'm here to give God all the glory. Because the, because the devil wanted to try the power in this place. This month of March is the month we said yes, I do to ourselves. And the devil wanted it to be in a sorrowful mood. But we are here, I am here to give God the glory that this March, my marriage is two years. And we are all alive and safe. To him alone be all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Keep on appreciating God for all this that God has done for her. Though she was sick, her family, her husband was saved from her accident and she too has been saved from that. That is what our God can do. He's a miracle working God. When the devil tries it in one way, he's always there to save you from all situations and from all problems. I appreciate the grace of God. Sister, for all this that God has done for you, what is your promise of duty and your advice to us? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My promise of duty is that I will still save God in fountain of hope. Then my advice is, if you are in fountain, be in fountain. There's a coverage here. I want to tell this. There's something I want to tell you. During the cause I was sick, my stepsister came and carried me to her back. So in the house, she called her pastor. They, they prayed. And when they prayed, the man said, he had a revelation. Someone was beating his hand on his chest that we are not going to be saved and blah, 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 blah. So he was like, why? Okay, he said, why is the pastor destroying what they are doing? Then I said, why? Why can't you do what you said you should do? And the man said, this man does not even know our papa. But he described papa. He said, in that revelation, he saw a young man with a hair and the young man now told him that he is my father in the Lord that is always with me I was shocked, I said yes, that means the coverage is still there, so if you are in fountain be in fountain, 
don't move around anyhow. Be in fountain. There is coverage. Our papa is still alive. He said he is alive and he's always with us. For him to say he is my father in the Lord and he's always with me. So that's my advice. Be in fountain and have your faith. If you are in fountain, sit down one please. Hallelujah. Sister, we appreciate your testimony. You may continue to walk in the light of a testimony as you make the word of God a standard for your life. God bless you in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Our brother is here to bless the name of the Lord for what God has done for him and his family. I appreciate God. Brother, you're welcome to Fountain of Hope Ministries Incorporated. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what God Almighty has done for you. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Akanimonka. I'm from Bioborutu in Setibo. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for a successful burial of my father, my late father. It happened that was last year, August. During the time we lost our father in the Lord. And that same week, I lost my biological father. So since that last year, we battle from one problem to another. But to God be the glory. Because I did not know that God loves me no matter how I'm stubborn. God still loves me. If you want to be stubborn, stubborn, let God love you. But if you cannot be stubborn for God to love you, look for a way. And don't copy anybody's stubbornness. Because you don't know whether that is his own calling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I was battled up to a point that one day when there's a day mama called me, asked me, How do you how, how is your preparation? Then mama said, Nothing. There is no work. For almost six months, I did not go to work. Mama asked me, did you know the people that can help you? That God said you give me a request later to write. The name of people that I know that can help me. I did it. To surprise you, those people helped me. None. So even some of them that they cannot even, some people beg me to give me something. Even when they did not have. I appreciate the miracle working God. Hallelujah. So I'm here to return all glory to God. Even a week before the burial, they said, hey, I, come to, I was in a Bible class. Mama asked me that. God said she told me that I should observe fasting before the day of my father's burial. I was, even on that week, I was so busy up to the point that a week before the burial, my papa visited me. I was on the back seat here. Tell me, say, my son, come. Do you know that in that your father's better will not see shame? I said, Daddy, I know. I said, Tell me, say, that is why he visit me. That I should observe that fasting before that day. If not, okay, what will happen? I will not even experience. So on that day, on that Friday, member of this church offered me a car to use. I went to the village the first time. I returned to pick some people. On my way to return back the third time, Along the speed, because I was on stop so that I can meet up. This big bed, how do they call it? Nubu. From nowhere. From nowhere, from up, down, and about to at the whisk cream. But I so much thank God that God make him to land on the bonnet of the car. I hit him. When I hit him, I reversed back to the car and carry him. Before I went there, the thing just fly away. I was doubt. I said, ah, with that speed. I was on 100 and something. Then I hit a bed. They did not die. Now that they remember, say, if they did not observe that fasting, that Papa come and remind me to observe the fasting. I don't know what would have happened. Maybe his, his mission is to damage the wish cream so that I will spend. And the person that gave me the car would have regret of everything. But I, I so much thank God because I'm here to return all glory to God. No matter how it is, it was a very successful bearer. I give God all the glory for what he has done. Says, Keep name, on appreciating the grace of God. Jesus' mighty name. That is what our God can, can do. Even in the midst of challenges, he's always there to make a way where there seems to be no way. 
Brother, for all this that God has done for you, what is your promise of duty and your advice to us? My advice to us is, uh, if you are in fountain, I joined fountain when fountain was eight months. So there is no way you can see shame in fountain. So if you are a member of fountain, whether you are two years, three years, four years, sit tight. One day, that wish you're looking for, God will visit you. In Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Because people did not even believe that the day of my father, we are nine in number. The way they fight us, nobody believed that at least. Even me, I was, there's a time I was thinking, does it mean that when they put my father's corpse, the coven, they will put another coven? But I so much thank God that we are nine and we complete that day. So I pray for you. If your father is still alive, you will bury him. Nothing by any means will touch you. And they will not bury you aside along with your father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My promise of duty is I give him myself. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, you may continue to walk in the light of your testimony. As you make the word of God a standard for your life. Put your hands together for Jesus. Fountain! Let's bring for the testing indeed. Our sister is here to bless the name of the Lord for what God has done for her. Put your hands together for Jesus. Sister, you're welcome to church this morning. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what God has done for you. Good morning, church. Good morning, mama. My name is Blessing Vincent Zodion. I'm from Eket's local government area, Kwaibom State, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. I'm here to bless the name of the Lord for the gifts of life and the protection towards my family. I say may his name be praised in Jesus' name. Secondly, I want to thank God for what God used the water that Mama blessed for us months ago. Mama asked us to come with water and salt from our house, so I also did that. My auntie called me two weeks ago that she went to the hospital and she and the baby that both of them were confirmed HIV positive. So when she came back, she told the husband, she was crying, she told the husband. The husband now said, uh -uh, if you are HIV positive and the baby, that him himself is also HIV. So the three of them went back to the hospital and they conducted the test for the husband. The, the husband was confirmed negative and my auntie was crying. She called me and said, blessing, this is what is happening to me, oh, that my baby is not feeling fine. My baby is seriously sick. I said, oh, I'll come and visit you when I'm chance. So she called me this Tuesday, this week Tuesday, last week Tuesday, that her baby is seriously healed. That someone called her for her to bring the baby to do assignments in one village like that. So when she got there with the baby, the baby's sickness was getting worse. She said before somebody's child would die there, she had to return the baby to the compound. I told her that she should not worry that when I'm back from work, I'm going to visit her. So I remember the water that Mama blessed for us. I told her, okay, Mama, because she knows my I said, Mama gave us water. I'm going to bring it for you. She said, okay. She asked me if I have fire in the bottle. I told her, no, that I don't have. She said, okay. So when I closed from work, I went there. Getting there, the baby was seriously sick. He was vomiting. He could not even eat. I told her, okay, auntie, let's use this water and pray so that you can give it to this baby. So we prayed instantly. She collected me the water and gave it to the baby. Instantly, the baby became calm. Put your hands together for Jesus. That is the balm of Gilead we are talking about. That's the efficacy of what the Holy Spirit can do. Praise the Lord. Me, myself, I was surprised seeing that I said, okay, auntie, give him food to eat. She said that for the past days that the baby has not been eating, she only breastfeed the baby. So she gave the baby food. The baby started eating. I told her, okay, in the night we are going to pray. So I was there until Wednesday morning. I left that Wednesday morning. She called me on Friday. She said that she went back to the hospital to get, because the hospital people gave her um, drugs for the HIV. She and the baby, that they will be taking the drugs. So she said that she went back on Friday to collect the drugs again. When she got there, she did a test again. She was confirmed negative. She and the baby. 
if you are appreciating this great God, do it better for what he has done in this generation. Praise the Lord. She said that she conducted the test that even the nurses, they were surprised. They asked her, Amma, this is your result. I myself, I saw the result, the two results, the positive one and the negative one. The nurses were doubting. They asked her where she went to. She said that she don't, she did not go to anywhere. It, she had to, she was doubting them also. She had to go to another hospital. She also did the test. She and the baby, they took the, their, uh, their blood to the lab. She came back, she told me that it was negative. I told her, okay, that was on Friday. I said, when I'm back for work, I'm coming. So it was on Saturday, it was on Saturday morning. She told me again that she has conducted another test in the pharmacy, that she's still HIV negative. I said, Jesus, is this real? I appreciate the grace of God in the house. Get into this testimony and you go back with a testimony also. I myself, I was wondering because I've never seen somebody that is HIV before. I was, I was crying. I said, Jesus, why is this thing happening? That means my auntie marriage will not be saved. I was crying, but I thank God for that water. She now come and said that she used to have pains here in the center of her tummy. That ever since she started taking that water, that everything is okay. That she's very fine. I said, okay, auntie, don't worry. Keep on praying. She said that mama's water is very powerful. I said, yes, that the water is powerful, if you believe. She said, okay, that I should drop the remaining of the water for her later use. So I'm here to thank God. She said, when I come to church, come and thank God for her, that she is fine. I'm here to return all the glory to God. I'm here to thank the God of prophet, you agents, because his power is still remaining today. I myself, I was doubting, I said, Jesus, Will my auntie be healed through this water? But I thank God because I was taking it very simple. I did not, I myself, I did not even believe in that water. But God did it. I know that the God of Prophet U.E. James is still alive. For him to heal my auntie and the baby from HIV positive, I say may his name be praised in Jesus' name. I appreciate the grace of God in the house. God has proved himself to you that he is God. That what, that mantle and that staff of office that he stood on this mount to anoint is still in action. Believe in God. Believe in his servant, Pastor Mrs. Ophonimi James. He is a great woman for this generation. Do not doubt this grace. Keep on believing in God. And surely I pray that you're the next in line for testimony. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister, for all this that God has done for you, what is your advice to us? And what is your promise of duty to Praise God? Praise the Lord. My promise of duty is that I will continue to save him with the grace that he has given to me. In Jesus' name. And my advice to all of us sitting down here, Believe in God and believe in the God of Prophet U.E. James. There is no time that I will pray. I will not mention that God because that is the only God that helped me in my family. Believe in God and believe that God of Prophet U.E. James is still alive and he will be alive forever and ever Amen. in Jesus' name. Don't believe in whatever people are saying. Believe in God. Him alone can save you from that your sickness in Jesus' name. Be richly blessed and continue to walk in the light of your testimony in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. As you stand to your feet to appreciate this God for all the testifiers in the house. Thank God also for your life because you are a testimony. Believing him that what you have come to his presence with, you will go back with a testimony. May the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated as you put your hands together to the Lord. <laughs> 